Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this wavy, flaggy looking number six in Adobe Illustrator. And basically this number six is built with three simple steps. And I'm going to show you guys how in the process I want to create a rectangle and I will be creating a brush out of this one. So create one rectangle and drag it with all the shift to the right side of it. Then select the first one again, drag it again with all the shift to the right side of the second one and then press on command D. Command D actually copies the first action we have made so it copies the same exact rectangles next to it okay i'm going to delete one okay i think this is enough so for now we are going to drag these rectangles into the brushes panel and select art brush and press on ok so for now the arrow is pointing down this is okay if it's pointing up it's okay as well but it shouldn't point to the left side or the right side so be careful of that yeah press on ok and then you can see our arm brush is over here and then we are going to create the outline of the number six select the ellipse tool or press l on the on your keyboard and drag a circle and give it an outline because we want only the outline in this case select the top anchor point press on command c and press on command alt shift v so it duplicates the form on the exact same place and drag it with shift to the top we are going to extend this form by clicking on the pen tool in the toolbar click on this anchor point and click on this anchor point and it extends the line now click on the selection tool select the six and press on the brush we just have created okay this, this looks good make it a little bit smaller so I want to drag this top side a little bit up. So select the top three anchor points and just drag it upwards. Okay, I'm going to make the outline a little bit bigger. And we do this over here at the stroke. Press on one, uh, or maybe on 0 0.8, no, 0 0.9 I'm going for. Okay, we extend this a little bit more, select it, and you can withhold shift, press on the top arrow, and then you extend it to the top side. I think something like this is good. So for now, we want to get rid of these lines in between. We are going to do it by selecting the number six, go to object, expand appearance, and then we have the outline extended now we are going to press shift m on your keyboard or press on the shape builder tool in the toolbar and then we are going to delete the lines in between as you can see it has this little plus and next to the arrow this will say it will expand the forms but when you hold alt it gets this minus and then you will delete the forms we are going to delete them so hold alt when you drag over the lines and we are going to do is for all those lines in between. Okay, this looks quite good. So now we are want to create one form out of it. We are going to uh, window, pathfinder, and use unite. Okay, so now it's one form. <laughs> and now we are going to add the perspective to it. Go to effect. 3D and rotate as you can see you can drag this box and give it a more of a top view and you can adjust the perspective over here so we are going to set this to uh, 70 I think and drag this a little bit more to the left yeah this looks quite nice press on ok we are going to extend the life parts so go to object, expand appearance, and then you have expanded the 
parts and we are going to get rid of this box on the side so delete it and now we are going to add the waves to it the wavy effect select the number six go to object go to envelope distort and make with mesh i've already set those to the right options i'm going for seven rows uh, yeah for 10 columns uh, maybe we're going for 11 columns no i think 10 is okay this doesn't have to be the same you can just use anything you want when you give it more columns you can create a, a bigger distortion but i'm going for 10 in this one press an okay and now we are going to select the object again and now with the white direct selection tool you can drag over the anchor points and drag these up for example Yeah, so for example, you can um, export this object to Photoshop and give it some nice shadows. So you can be really creative with this and do different kind of, st of things. You don't need to use the rotate um, tool to create the mesh. So you can create a mesh on any object and just be creative with it. Yeah, I hope you guys have learned something. Please drop a like, follow the channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.